Hey, what's going on guys? It's Patrick here and welcome to the first episode of my beginners let's play for Boom Beach. So as you guys know on my main channel, I released a video for Boom Beach. It's a game created by Supercell, the same makers of Clash of Clans, and it's really an awesome game and I thought I would talk about it and play a couple episodes for you guys. So it's only available in Canada right now as I make this video. Maybe you guys are watching this a couple months later, um, but hopefully it comes out soon worldwide. And I expect it to be there maybe in like two or three weeks. All right, so to start off, let's talk about some of the buildings in Boom Beach. So this is my base right here, and this is my headquarters. So this is really important that you cr you protect your headquarters when people attack you. Because if someone destroys your headquarters, they win the entire fight and they steal all your resources. So make sure to protect that, and you upgrade the headquarters to get more buildings inside of your base. All right, so moving on, we have the sawmill. And the sawmill creates one of our resources, which is wood. So you definitely want to upgrade the sawmill. That'll give you more wood. Um, and it's important to also upgrade your wood storage, which I guess I'll go to next, because you never want to have too much wood to where it overflows your storage, uh, because then you actually lose some of your wood when you get capped off. So make sure you upgrade your wood storage and keep it up to date. All right, so moving on, we have the residences, and the residence uh, goes ahead and produces gold for you over time. So you get gold even when you're not fighting. When you log back on, you get some gold there, and it's going to be stored in your gold storage. So again, that's another thing you need to make sure you upgrade. Defensive-wise, you have the sniper tower, and this is at level 2 right now. This protects your base. All of these buildings right here, these are, you can see I'm only level 4. You'll get these fairly quickly. Um, and then here's my second sniper tower here. And then moving on to the last buildings, we have the vault, which protects resources when people raid you. So you make sure you fill up your vault, you upgrade your vault. That way, when people attack, they're not taking all your stuff. Um, and then finally, for the last building, I think we have, uh, well, I guess that's another residence. Um, but we do have some mines out front, and the mines protect you when people attack you. So if they run over the mines, especially the weak troops, they'll die pretty fast. All right, so looking around at Boom Beach, you have your little island here. It actually looks pretty good. I like the uh, 3D effects. Um, and you have your trees, so you want to make sure that you get rid of some of your trees. You can take them out like you see right here. just takes a quick second to remove them, and it exchanges your gold for wood. Um, and over time, you have to like go way up in the levels to get rid of all your trees, so don't expect to get rid of them all right away. All right, so the two most important things are your landing crafts. This is what you put your troops on when you attack people. So make sure you upgrade grade these because it lets you hold more troops um, and you can do that much more damage. So that's why it's really important that you keep getting these and you keep upgrading these. Um, and then when you move up in headquarters, you keep buying more of these because literally more troops, the better. And then finally, you have your boat over there. Um, your gunboat. This is what you use to shoot missiles off of. You deliver med kits off of this, smoke screens. Uh, it'll make sense more when we attack, but this is another really important offensive unit. It doesn't help you on defense, but it is great for offense. All right, so I think that's it for our buildings right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the world map. This is where you find people to attack. It's sort of mixed with single player and multiplayer at the same time. You can see right here, those villages I've already destroyed, they give me 40 gold per hour, so it really is helpful to go ahead and uh, destroy as many villages as you can. And then you can see I am I need to expand my radar. So I forgot to talk about the radar. The radar, what it does, it lets you see more bases and it lets you see more of the map that's clouded. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll use diamonds to speed it up. Diamonds are like gems in Clash of Clans and they speed up. Like It's like the currency that you can buy with like real money to um, speed it up. But they give you plenty of gem or diamonds to start off. And you can also earn diamonds throughout the game by doing achievements and you find them in chests. All right, so right now you can see we have, a, we have a little base right here. Let's go ahead and explore. And actually, we have a base that is controlled. This is the first base I've seen controlled by a real player. So you can see, usually I attack uh, like uh, computers, but this one's a real player, and let's go ahead and scout out his base. All right, so in Boom Beach, you have some different attack strategies. You can see right here, this guy's base. Um, I don't know if I can beat it with my, my troops right now. Um... Plus, he's online, actually. So I was going to attack it, but he's online. You can't attack people while they're online. So let's go ahead and attack some people single player and get up our gold and our wood. So it's really important in this game, just like other games like Clash of Clans, to make sure that you're attacking, you're getting resources. And let's go ahead and check this base out right here. So this is a computer-controlled base. And the reason I know that, it didn't have like the player symbol outside. And after I scout it out, you can see it's Rocky Bay. I see two archer towers, a.k.a. sniper towers. And let's go ahead and get the gold and let's try to attack this. So in the upper left, you can see there's 900 gold, 680 wood, so definitely good, plus one metal, which gets us on the leaderboard. And to start off, let me shoot some rockets off of my boat. So like I said, the boat is very important in the beginning. It lets you shoot different stuff. Um, so let me go ahead and shoot those two missiles. 
And then now when I go ahead and drop my troops, they land on the beach and you can't really control them from here until you get the smoke screens. But we'll get those pretty soon and I think it'll work out really well. All right, so right now we destroyed that first sniper tower. I did drop my third missile. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and let my troops run in. I do have my heavy, heavy, um, and the heavy takes care of buildings. He, he doesn't really do that much damage, but he does a great job in taking damage. Um, so he doesn't deal damage, but he takes it. So it's pretty important that you have your da your heavy guy out front, you have your infantry behind you, and usually that's a pretty good combination. You don't wanna rock like two heavies in the beginning because they won't do that much damage, and you don't wanna rock uh, a bunch of like infantry because they'll get shot down pretty easy. Okay, so you can see right now, every building that I destroy brings his headquarters health points down. So it's not a bad idea to attack the buildings before you go to the headquarters. So it's already down to 25% before I've even touched it. I'll go ahead and throw another missile at it, and that should wrap it up for uh, for this raid, I guess. Um, so very successful, we got all of it. Again, in this game, you have four minutes to attack before it expires, the battle. And I think you have like 40 seconds to look before you attack. Um, so it gives you plenty of time to look, and then you have plenty of time because the headquarters actually has a lot of health, and it does take a good amount of time sometimes to take it out. All right, so wrapping up, we got our metal, we got 900 gold and 680 wood, and what's really cool about this game is you don't lose your troops. So we did have one troop die, but the rest of the troops come back to base with us, and we don't have to worry about retraining them. So that is awesome. That's why it's really valuable to make sure you're protecting your troops, um, and it means you should go all out all the time with all your troops. That way, uh, you can save as many of them as you can. All right, taking a look at the achievements, like I said, there are some different achievements for clearing stuff, for collecting gold, for collecting wood, doing stuff like that. Uh, pretty important to check those out. You can look at the top player list. Let's go ahead and take a look where I am, and if we scroll down, there really isn't too many people playing, uh, but I'm at 248, and I'm really only 20 medals off, so I'm really not that far off. Looking at the settings menu, not too much there. Connect to Facebook, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I think that should pretty much do it for this episode. So I'm wondering what you guys would think about Boom Beach. I think it's actually a really fun game. Um, I've been playing a little bit. I'm actually past where I am in this video, but I'm having a ton of fun with it. I think there are some problems with it, uh, which I'll address in a later video that I hope are fixed. And I think that's why they're doing a little beta in Canada Canada right now. Um, but overall, I think it's an awesome game and it has its own like unique and uh, it has its own unique feel to it. It's a lot different than Clash of Clans and a lot of those other copycats. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the next episode. I'm posting it right now. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already to my second channel and drop a like and a favorite if you enjoyed this. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Peace out.